Now, my brother, my sister, this one is so very easy to deal with. Now, the Ministry of Finance has been empowered to be able to grow the economy. How do they grow the economy at the Ministry of Finance? By taking very good actions and putting into place very good plans to be able to make our economy grow. Now, one of the things that they would need to grow the economy would certainly be finances. Now, the Minister of Finance is saying, listen, Ghanaians, you want your economy to grow. But if you want your economy to grow, you must also remember that we need money. And this money that we need, a lot of it comes from our development partners. It's another way of saying people we beg from. Development partners in the third world simply means people we beg from. Benevolent institutions and countries. My brother, my sister, so if this money that you need to be able to develop your economy is coming from these people, then you must live by the whims and caprices of these people, the so-called development partners, a.k.a. the benevolent society, a.k.a. the people who are always giving us crumbs from off their tables. For that matter, if you go ahead to pass the LGBTQI plus bill, we are hurting our development partners, a.k.a. the benevolent society, a.k.a. the people that we beg from every now and then, a.k.a. the people who throw the crumbs off from off their tables onto us, like bones to the dog. My brother, my sister, if the dog must always have bones to eat from the master, it must behave and live according to the whims and caprices of the master. Now, Ghana has become like a dog. The West is the master of the dog. And every time the dog wants to eat bones, the master is ready to give these bones on condition that the dog will continue to be subservient and live by the whims and caprices of the master, a.k.a. the West. How would a nation that call itself independent continue to be fed night and day according to the whims, caprices, and dictates of the hearts of the master? Then you better consider yourself as very, very, very independent. Or better still, very, very dependent, my brother, my sister. It's a mockery of an independence, my brother, my sister. To continue eating from the table of the master. And if you are even invited to the table, fine. But no, you have to hide under the table where the master throws the bones onto you so you can eat. My brother, my sister, this coming from the finance ministry is so shameful. It is not about passing the LGBTQI plus bill or passing any other bill. I am looking at it from one direction. We are living according to who feeds us. And remember, he who feeds you will continue to control you. He who pays the piper calls the tune. I cannot pay the piper. And you standing with your hands folded will call the, 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 the tune. It's not possible. I am so ashamed as the so-called independent Ghana. The independence that our ancestors fought for us. The independence that our ancestors gave to us on a silver platter after shedding their own blood, sweating it out, and slugging it very, very painfully with objects of depression and indisposition. My brother, my sister, it hurts me, my brother, my sister, to call myself an independent person living in an independent country. Tomorrow we are going to be celebrating the independence of Ghana. Oh, what a time to celebrate the independence of Ghana. Are we truly independent? Oh, we are a bunch of idiots who are playing the ostrich of a dependence which we call independence. Are we living in a Mickey Mouse society? Have we been given a Mickey Mouse freedom? Are we truly independent? Now the Minister of Finance comes out to tell you, listen, even though we don't like homosexuality, even though we don't want any member of our society, any member of our family to be a homosexual or a lesbian, we need to pretend to love it. We need to love it. We need to live by the whims and caprices and dictates of the LGBTQI plus society. That is what the Minister of Finance is telling you.
That is what our country is telling you. Please don't get me wrong. I am trying to speak inequivocably so everyone would have a full comprehension of what I am saying. It is not about the gay society. Neither is it against any other society, my brethren. I am only talking about the fact that we are not independent. Now, if you claim that your culture does not permit one thing, if you claim that majority of the people in the country are not ready for a certain bill, a certain behavior, my brother, my sister, and you cannot independently pass this because there is somebody who feeds you from the other side, he decides when you should sleep. He decides when you should eat. He decides what you should say. Because he gives you some crumbs from off the table, then you are a buffoon. Then you are not independent. Then you are drawing our country back into slavery. The way Ghana is right now, my brother, my sister, it is better we invite the British to come back and recolonize us because our leaders are idiotic. Our leaders have no common sense of independence. Our leaders have no common sense of democracy. Our leaders are refusing, my brother, my sister, to uphold the image of our ancestors who fought tooth and nail to bring us here. I am so shocked, my brother, my sister, that these guys in court and tie, these guys who drink tea, even in the hottest sun, my brother, my sister, at a time there's a serious heat wave running around Africa, and people are getting heat stroke. We are busily wearing coat and tie and drinking tea every now and then, trying to behave like our masters. My brother, my sister, all these guys are idiots. All these guys have no common sense. At the time, your factories producing textile are all dying out. You are busily flaunting your slave master's coat and tie. You are busily wearing suit and tie and wearing shoes all the way from Italy, eating Italian and American food. You are a slave, my brother. You are a useless slave. And we have elected slaves to lead us, my brother, my sister. The president goes for an African or an all-African conference. An all-African conference which is held outside Africa. My brother, my sister, all the African leaders arrive there in the slave master's suit and tie. The slave master tells them exactly what he wants them to do. Several years after slavery is gone, several years after colonialism is gone, it looks like we are in the days of neocolonialism where we are still in slavery and colonialism and we are puppeted from afar. LGBTQI plus bill, if you are truly independent, please be independent and go by the dictates of your hearts. Go after what the people say they want without looking at who gets hurt or who gets slapped. Majority of the people say that this is what they want. This is what they don't want. As a nation, do not let a few people who feed you like dogs with bones my brother, my sister, control and puppet you. I leave it here. There's no ambiguity in what I have said. Yeah.